A prison cell. A lingering smell of feces and urine. Three men chained up, heads down, found guilty of sin. Their hearts so heavy, they could not lift an eye. To find the source of clanks, chimes. To see the chains, the keys, the new guy. Twas not a man, but a teen. A boy whose face was littered with tears. His soul was battling loss, no longer free and filled with fear. What are you in for? asked the blonde across the cell. You're a kid, a child, a boy. Why have you been damned to hell? Stunned, he replied, five girls claimed I attacked them at a party. At school, I kept my distance. I just wanted to keep to me. You and I are in the same boat, came from the one with melanin. I'm in here because my name popped up while someone was dreaming. The blonde, surprised by these nasty odds, took a breath, then began. In my case, sex did occur, but my accuser was a different woman. I went to college, had a girlfriend. The sex was frequent, wild, rough. My accuser was my gal's buddy, who decided we'd played enough. The final one just sat, wept. The rest gazed with curiosity. He apologized, rubbed his face, then contributed his story. My kid, my child, my beloved, I would still die for her. This is why my pain is so great. I was accused by my own daughter. She was 13. She had a curfew. Mom picked it, I agreed. 90 minutes late, I grounded her. For revenge, she called the cops on me. It took some time, someone said. Rapists are whom these beds are for. None of us belong in here. Who said this? Does it matter?